Welcome back, sports gamers. It's the natural. Got the running back ratings. We're going to go over the top 10 running backs here with my main man, Four Verts. Here, we're going to break down and get into the nitty gritty and not just, you know, show what you guys, what EA has on their site, but actually show how they're compared and stacked up to one another. Uh, thanks for joining me again. Yeah, let's let's get after this. I'm excited. I'm a, I'm a halfback guy myself. All right. I don't know what that means, but all right. It's, it's, be, it's, it's, it's better than being a tight end guy, I guess. I mean, yeah, I mean, uh, or, or a sack guy. I don't know. Anyways, uh, <laughs> all right. Starting so right starting, off with, with uh, Josh Jacobs. Yeah. So starting out here, Josh Jacobs. Um, you know, when you're looking at Josh Jacobs, the big thing you got to realize here is he's probably the second best power back in the game right now. Um, mm. You know, 97 carrying. He's not going to fumble the ball. You got that 94 break tackle, uh, only second to Nick Chubb. Um, and then 89 truck, I think that's a little surprising to a lot of people. Once again, only second to Nick Chubb. Um, so we, when you're talking about a power back, he, he's not going to be agile. He's not going to make anybody miss, but he's going to run over a lot of people. Yeah, this list just seems so different um, color-wise from when we did the quarterback one. It's like it's more, I don't know, it's a lot more colors. Like, could you kind of talk about that a little bit? Like, maybe it's more highs and lows, or it just doesn't seem as uniform as the yeah, quarterback. Yeah, it's... It, it, it's it's pretty much the same one the shades are a little bit different i think because you're just seeing more congestion in the middle area yeah um versus the other list where there they, were more highs and lows gotcha all right so uh josh jacobs uh young running back i'm surprised he kind of made that list i mean he, he was good but i just didn't think you know such a, he's only went to second year running back making this top 10 already uh i'm moving on to alvin Kamara. um you know he's such a dynamic once running back out the backfield or also as a pass catcher as well so that kind of stands out in his ratings right when you're when you're looking at Kamara, you're looking at um arguably the the second best maybe the best uh pass catcher out of the backfield 94 acceleration best in this grouping here um he he's got some ball carrier moves 89 ball carrier vision puts him um upper mid uh, 92 to stiff arm is second best of this group. But really we, what you talk about with Kamara is these pass catching abilities. 78 release actually is one of the better releases just in general. Um, that probably puts him somewhere around the top 20 to 25 for receivers in general. Uh, so don't be scared to split Kamara out wide, even if your opponent's uh, running some press. And then you've got that 82 short route running that's that's pretty good itself. So Kamara, definitely a threat coming out of the backfield. A guy you want to motion out and get him in those matchups. Yeah, and you can see that as you, as you move to that right side of the list, you can see how it just kind of greens up for him, how he stands out right away when it comes to that. Uh, but also drops when his injury rating is pretty low, as well as stamina. All right, and on to uh, Joe Mixon, who is a big Madden fan himself, uh, 89 overall. Yeah, and Joe Mixon, not anything incredible, you know, as, as a Bengals fan, it, it pains me to say he doesn't do anything special here in Madden. Uh, you know, 93 acceleration, 91 speed, it's pretty good uh, for most elusive backs there. Uh, 92 agility, again, middle of the road. You know, his best thing is he, he's he's reliable. He doesn't get hurt, uh, which is something to look at. 88 trucking, though, he does bring a little bit of, of the power in that case. He can catch out of the backfield. He's probably middle of the road there. Um, one thing I will note is Joe Mixon, uh, he, he has the new balance beam ability, so he's he's not going to stumble, um, which could be beneficial, especially running through traffic. You know, Mixon's a guy I think that, you know, you could build your, your running attack around, but I don't think he's going to blow you away. Yeah, one thing that jumps out to me about him, uh, of course, we can't forget about abilities, but the COD or change of direction, uh, that 90 is is pretty good. Um, you know, I guess it looks a little average, it's slightly above average, but that's a big one, especially for a running back. Um, being able to get in and out of those breaks. Uh, and on to Aaron Jones. We got some uh, fresh faces on the list here this year. Yeah, and it, it's kind of funny. Aaron Jones uh, is is very similar to Joe Mixon when you start working across the board. Again, 93 acceleration, 91 speed. A little better agility there at 94. Same ball carrier vision at 89. Um, you know, really, when you look at, at Aaron Jones, he, he does have that 92 juke, so you're starting to get into a little more elite territory there. Um, I, I tweeted about the other day, C.D. Lamb actually has a better juke move than um, five of the guys here on this top 10 list, which is kind of funny. Um, but, you know, for me, Aaron Jones, he's he's kind of in that same, that same bucket as Joe Mixon. He's a good running back, but he's not going to blow you away with any one thing. 
Yeah, I, I can definitely see that. Um, he's just all around balance and, and, and a solid back. That injury, though, is another one that's, that's pretty low. Not, 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 not anything that really matters for guys who play head to head, but definitely something that matters for CFM guys, because especially if you play with realistic kind of injuries uh, or, you know, or even this, if you leave it at default, <laughs> if you play anywhere near 40 or 50 injury, a running back of that stature, especially an elusive type back, is not going to make it through a season. Right. All right, and on to Saquon Barkley. Um, we had we put some early Madden ratings out that we got from the beta, and uh, Saquon wasn't on the list, and people were up in arms, but he is uh, on there uh, on the updated ones at 91 overall with 92 speed, which you show is uh, one of the best in the group. Yeah, and, and so Saquon's actually a lot better than 91 overall. They actually did a little um, kind of kind of some behind the scenes trick here to make his overall lower than it looks like. So a couple things to note here, Saquon Barkley with 84 awareness, the lowest of this group, um, that is really inhibiting his overall rating, but that's not something that actually is gonna impact the way he plays in this game. So one thing that you guys can realize here is Saquon's probably playing more like a 93 or 94. They just didn't necessarily wanna put him there based on the year he had last year. So don't get too caught up with the overall. That that kind of goes similarly with the ball carrier vision. They give him a 78, the, the lowest, not just here, but like one of the lowest in the game. I have no clue where that came from. Um, but you know, those are things you want to note. Saquon Barkley does have 94 jumping second best in this group. Um, so he can go up and over the pile that 96 agility along with the 94 change of direction is going to make him shifty and then the 90 spin and 94 juke move. So Saquon Barkley a lot better than his 91 overall and definitely a lot better than the 89 they had him before. Um, and I definitely remember, uh, one of your lists actually that you did last year, um, talking about, uh, so on Saquon Barkley, even though his overall was kind of low but he actually was one of the better um running backs based upon not looking at overall but looking at his abilities and uh when i think that that's what's a real bonus people can't always look at overall um so also uh moving on from saquon barkley and i uh, also have the uh the list up i'll show you guys of the running back abilities that we have because uh saquon actually has four with first one free, leapfrog, evasive, and backfield mismatch. So they uh, they added an extra ability uh, this year to running backs. And um, it looks like, is this right that Christian McCaffrey has five? Well, we'll all right, we'll, we'll get to that. We'll, we'll tackle that when we go. <laughs> uh, but going, moving on to, from Saquon Barkley to Dalvin Cook. Um, and, you know, this is someone who, who was super dynamic last year and really had a breakout season. Yeah, and so this is where you gotta you gotta kind of compare these two guys, and that's what's funny, right? Because they're both 91 overall, but when you look at them, you can see a lot more green on Barkley than Cook, and that's again because of that awareness and that ball carrier vision kind of bringing Barkley down more than he should. So when you look at Cook, especially after just talking about Barkley, he doesn't do anything immediately that jumps out of the page. You know, 92 acceleration, 91 speed, um, 74 strength. One of the weaker backs here on this list, but he does have 90. Uh, or excuse me, 94 agility. Um, so he's 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 shifty, but he's not going to do a whole lot for you. Now, a couple things you do have to keep in mind here. 77 jump, he is not going over the pile for you. 84 <laughs> injury, that's something you're going to have to watch out for. Um, and then, you know, he's not bringing you much in the stiff arm game, but he is definitely uh, shifty, 95 change of direction, and then 93 juke move. So really, I look at him as more of like an Aaron Jones and in the same breath as Saquon Barkley. Yeah, and one thing about Barkley I, I forgot to mention is that ball carry vision. Uh, I have seen some advanced stats where they say Barkley does tend to uh, lose yards on a, on a good percentage of his carries more than a certain. He has those big breakout runs, but also um, he, he loses yards on a, on a good amount of his carries more than the you know standard standard star running back. Um, all right, so bouncing up to uh, Nick Chubb, who explodes onto this list where he exploded last year into the season. And he's he's just an interesting running back that he has speed. I mean, is he a is he a power back? Is he elusive back? Because he's he has speed, but then he has power. Um, but he also you know has moves. So he, he pretty much is almost like the total package outside of the receiving game. Yeah, he he's going to be a more of a power back. And some people will argue that Derrick Henry is a better power back than him. I I look at these stats and I kind of think differently personally. He does have speed. That 92 speed tied here for the top in this list. Um, 85 strength, one to watch there. People don't understand strength does play with some of these power moves like um, breaking tackle as well as trucking. So something to keep your mind on there. 
um, 83 agility, and then 82 change of direction is why you're not going to be playing that elusive game with them. Probably not running a lot of stretch with them. More dive, more in between the tackles. But like I said, 97 break tackle, 90 truck. You're going to run this guy right up the middle, and you're going to get a lot of yards with him. Yeah, definitely. That change of direction is going to be uh, tough there. And uh, not too much featured uh, in the passing game. His, uh, those stats are really low there for Nick Chubb. Uh, on to Ezekiel Elliott. Uh, Zeke had some things to say on Twitter recently about how he's dominated since he came into the league and he does not get enough respect. But he, he's top three on the list here. Uh, Madden um, running backs coming in at 92 overall. Yeah, and, and <laughs> I hate to quit harping on this, but again, his 92 doesn't really stand out to you. Um, physically, not imposing. 95 agility, though, he does have that going for him. He's kind of boosted the opposite of Barkley. That 94 awareness kind of pulls his rating up higher than it probably should be. Um, you look across the board, 95 jumping, he can go up over the pile. He's got the injury stamina toughness stats, but that's not doing a whole lot for you. Ball carrier vision is high, but then you start looking at his, his moves. 87 spin move is on the higher side. 91 jukes about middle of the road. So he's not doing anything great out of the backfield. He, he's he's average. So that, that's again one where I'm saying, yeah, Saquon Barkley is probably better than Zeke right now. Yeah, also you have to remember, uh, factor in uh, the superstar abilities, he has Fright Train, Freight Train, Reach for It, Leapfrog, and Energizer as well. Um, so not just the ratings, but you know, he, he's getting it done with the abilities and also we know he's running behind pretty much one of the best line off his line, maybe the best line in the game. Uh, and on the number two, Derek Henry, uh, he said arguably the best power back in the game. Um, he dominated at some points in the season as well as in the playoffs. And he's just a physically imposing freak. And, and I'm, and, and you, you can't say enough about how big, fast and strong this guy is. Yeah, and he's just going to run straight ahead. Uh, now, one knock on him will be that 88 acceleration. It's going to take him some time to get up to top speed, but once he does, he's going to be a tough one to bring down. 87 strength, we talked about that with Chubb. Um, 84 agility, 79 change of direction. Again, he's running straight ahead. He's not making anybody miss. 93 broken tackle puts him at third there. Um, but the big one everybody's going to notice is that 98 stiff arm. Oh, yeah. uh, you're going to want to throw that and throw that thing often with this guy. Yeah, and that, that 87 strength, he's in, like, off of the lineman territory yes. <laughs> with that. Uh, and one thing also to note uh, is, again, with the pass catching, not 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 the third down guy. Um, and I, I think, to me, this does seem like they kind of stretched out the ratings even more this year with the running back. Like, they really are designated power backs are power backs, elusive guys are elusive, and pass catchers are pass. It, it's, it doesn't seem like it's a lot of dual type guys in this list. They're really, really specialized. Yeah, they definitely stretch them out a little bit more, except for the next guy. And C. Matt Christian McCaffrey, one of the 99 overall club, uh, carried the Panthers last year. We know Cam Newton was uh, injured, and Christian McCaffrey really, really did his thing. And uh, you can see that 99 overall, 92 speed, 93 acceleration, and he was. Uh, he, I, I see a lot of green. There's a lot of green up there. Yeah, it's very green up here, and there's a reason for that. Um, he's phenomenal, 93 acceleration, 92 speed. Um, the thing I like about him is that 97 agility, 96 change of direction. Now, one thing you guys will notice when you start looking at um, abilities down the road, joystick is gone. You don't see joystick anymore. That is for a reason. Um, change of direction and agility basically now are the joystick. So you can imagine if joystick last year was 99 change of direction and agility, he's kind of a human joystick already. So that's gonna be something that people are going to find out when you run with him is you can basically run wherever you want with him and, and still do really well yeah and i uh, was actually uh told that uh one of the developers was saying that uh joystick would be 99 overall change of direction so right so he's basically there guys um before he's ever taken a snap for you in game um and, and then the other thing he's got going for him is he's got all the running moves right he can do 92 spin 96 juke move um, but then you start looking at his receiving and he's kind of like Kamara, right? 77 spectacular, spectacular catch, um, 82 normal catching and 74 release. So he, he can run for you or he can pass catch for you. Um, and he's arguably the best in the game at both. Yeah. Um, even his, uh, we haven't really talked about even in the pass blocking game, you know, that the guys, when they stay in, he has 69, he, he's the best pass blocker. <laughs> so even when he's right. not going out to catch passes, he's still the best guy to leave in and protect your quarterback. Uh, also with uh, ankle breaker ability, leapfrog, evasive, backfield master, and playmaker. 
So there, there are five abilities this year. Some X factors because some uh, some of the other ones don't have five abilities. Yeah. So one thing I've heard, and, and I'm not sure if this is actually true yet. We will get more information on it. Is um, franchise is still going to be limited to online quarterbacks having two, um, and then their X factor will be one. I don't. I can't tell you which ones are which and which ones will actually stay. Whereas head to heads will be all of them. Um, but we'll we'll see if what what they tell us more about that here in the next week or so. All right, sounds good. Uh, thanks for joining me here. Uh, if you guys enjoyed it, uh, and you have any comments on the list and what you think, someone who got snubs, someone who should be higher, let me know in the comments below. If you enjoy our content here at STO, like, subscribe for more news, reviews, and tips from your favorite sports games. Want to take your game to the next level? Join us on Patreon and become an STO Insider today.